45,000 people live and work at Victory Base Complex in Baghdad. That's a lot of latrines to empty. By the end of 2008, the wastewater will be trucked here to Victory's new treatment plant, easing the burden on another plant farther away. This job has a big impact outside the wire as well. The Iraqi contractor employs as many as 35 workers a day here. It supports the economy in the neighborhood. Many families earn their living from this project. Some Iraqi workers are learning new skills on this job. That's time consuming. But for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, training Iraqi construction workers is just another part of rebuilding Iraq. In the past, we've learned that Iraqi contractors tend to do sequential or linear construction, wait for one task to be completed before they initiate the next. If you look on the job site today, you've got welding operations, you've got crane operations, you've got electrical operations, you've got excavation operations, you've got design and all sorts of things happening simultaneously. Surveying, safety, quality assurance, quality control, uh, management, everything is going into the, the system at the same time and it's a great uniform effort between them in constructing and us as the Corps of Engineers teaching them these new skill sets. This job is excellent. It increases the expertise available in our company. The new wastewater treatment plant is also going to benefit Iraqi farmers and others who draw water from the network of canals surrounding Victory Base Complex. It's going to be producing 2 million gallons per day of clean water that's going to go back out to the local Iraqi communities. And that water will be significantly cleaner than what's in the Tigris or in that canal today. In Iraq, our water is very contaminated, so we're happy to do projects turning wastewater into water that can be used for human and agricultural purposes. That's a lot of bang for a wastewater treatment plant that costs less than $3 million. In Baghdad, I'm Kevin Casey.